Bye. Okay, classic accessories, the Togiak, stable and backpackable, high capacity pontoon float tube. Okay, this is the gold and gray color. Not that that matters, but I was wondering if it came with a pump and it does not. One, here's the seat. This is the bow, I guess. So your legs will face that way. To get these foam things in, first we're gonna take this strap off right here. Then right down underneath here, we're gonna lift that. There's three Velcro straps. I'm gonna take these and they go in wide. They're kind of a tight fit, but they'll go in. All the way up to the end there, you can see. And here's the second one. Attach these Velcros. This one here. This one here. And that one. And then replace this strap right here. And this will be the strap that keeps the seat up or folds down. Okay, so now we're going to locate the bladder fill valves. That's in this big zipper down the side here. And you can see you may need to mess with the bladder a little bit as it airs up to make sure it unfolds correctly. Okay, so this valve is open right now. You can see the gap there. And so we're going to turn this clockwise. Clockwise if we're facing it like that. And then that'll close it. Okay, so we're going to open this up. That way we can fill it. It looks like this adapter is the one that fits it. And um, this is the Intex pump. This pumps a heck of a lot faster than the uh, manual pumps, of course. And we picked this up at Walmart. I think it was $14 as well. DC 12 volt, so that's nice. And even if we don't have the Jeep, we'll be right now we don't have the Jeep inside the house, we'll be using this. This is the EcoFlow River. This is a um, electric generator, I guess, a battery generator. And so this we haven't charged literally for uh, over six months. And we're gonna turn it on. It's been sitting in storage and it still has 99% of its battery. Okay, then we're going to turn this part on right here. And then we're going to open this. Plug in here. And that should have DC power since we turned the DC power on right there. And let's see if this works. Okay, so let's put this on here and see how fast this airs up. Now we don't want to fill this up again completely full. We're going to fill it about two two thirds to three quarter. Just to give it some shape. Now we'll quickly screw that back on to the closed position. How much power do we use? Huh? Basically none. We'll rinse and repeat on this side. Okay, so now we're going to take these. There's a little hole right here. It's this little square hole. We're going to put that through there. We're going to unzip that. So this um, kind of inboard pocket is where that'll stick through. Now we can zip this closed, hopefully. Okay, now we're gonna open this up and fill it up. Okay, so what we're having trouble with is as we air up this bladder, this nozzle wants to go that way as it gets fuller and fuller. And so we're losing it out this little hole. So I think what the fix is for that is we're gonna unzip it, try to pull everything this direction make sure that more of the bladder is down here. And this ends the boat. And I might have overdone it, but basically now the base of this is in line with the hole right here. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do is orient the hose so that it lines up with this. So not only do you have to move the bladder up or down, and then you might also have to rotate the bladder inside of this um, outer part so that it lines up right here and stays in place. So right now you can see our hose is way over here and our hole's way over here. So our hose is laying over here. So we gotta rotate the bladder some this way. Okay, 
and basically this hole here should be in line with this and you can see it's not so we have to move the bladder down that way so we want this hole in line with the base right here Now it's much better in alignment. It might be a little too far. Let's just see. Okay. I'll zip it up and see what happens. Okay. So that's pretty good. So it might take a little finagling, but um, you'll get it in place. Now as you can see it's pretty squishy. Let's go ahead and air this up. And you can see we're at 98% power now. It's pulling about 53 watts. Okay, good. And that little bladder, that little uh, valve staying in place nicely right there. Perfect. We're just going to unplug that, turn the DC power off, turn the main power off. Still has 98% battery. It's pretty cool. Now they want us to use this little coupler and you want to keep these bevels aligned so that they're beveled the same direction. So maybe we'll just kind of feel here. Good. And then we'll slide it through this hole right here. Okay, so the bevels we're going to have pointing down. So this will be where you can read this. This is, of course, for anybody that's looking um, at the boat this way. You'll be facing it this way as you're sitting in the boat, so you'll be able to read your um, <laughs> fish scale there. That's kind of cool. And then we'll tuck this in right here. So this has one side has Velcro that you'll tuck this in. Go ahead and close the Velcro. And we'll tuck this up inside here. And one side, tuck this up inside the other side couple straps that'll hold this in place. Good. Slide that down. Okay. And then when you're sitting in your boat, you'll be able to fold this over. Okay, now we'll fold this over. It has some Velcro right here and some Velcro right here. That'll attach right there. This will attach over here. And it's a good fit. Nice little stripping uh, net there that you can strip your fly line into or set your gear on or set your little tackle box on. Um, and it's a nice size mesh. It'll drain water. It, um, you know, you could even set a hook on there if you needed to, a treble hook or whatever, and or a lure, and it's not gonna fall through. So if you're sitting in here and you need to get out in the emergency, the red tabs are what you grab. You'll rip those off, pop this buckle, pull that off, and get that out of the way, and then you can get out of the boat. So now that it's aired up adequately, we have a good amount of air in each side. We can go ahead and tighten these straps on the side here. And what these do, there's two on each side. These attach to the bottom right here. So this will give it some more rigidity as well. cool part about this is um, you can adjust the seat right here so as far as the seat flopping forward you can go ahead and um, tighten this part back right here like that so the seat won't flop forward on you um, as far as the seat going backwards though um, you'll have this buckle right here and this little tab right here that you can pull on and so you can lean back further by loosening this um, you can tighten it up that'll help you sit up higher okay Good. Okay, so let's just flip this over real quick from the front here. Just kind of look over the details. There's the buckles that loosen this front bar here. This is kind of cool. This is a little where you can hook your flies just like you might have on your vest. And you can also unvelcro it to take it off or replace it maybe if it needs to be replaced someday. Uh, but you can hook lures there if you're trading out lures frequently. Uh, there are, looks like there's 
four pockets on each side. So there's these two main pockets. This one, of course, has your bladder valve uh, in it, uh, but you can still throw some gear in there. These are big, big pockets. A lot of room there. You can throw a lot of stuff in here. And here's a pocket back here. And then there's this mesh pocket right here. Um, this little mesh pocket on the outside. Maybe you want to stuff something in there. Um, and then there's a zipper underneath it for another pocket. So really five pockets there. Same thing on the on this side. There's the bladder valve and it's staying nicely in place. Good. And there's a little hook here. Some other tabs here. Now we're gonna, there's a carry handle there. We're gonna be messing with um, maybe a couple PVC uh, rod holders, maybe a cup holder, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll be experimenting with that, so stay tuned for that. Um, as far as the rest of the boat goes, these are the shoulder straps if you wanna carry it. If you wanna air it up at your car and you got a little hike to the lake, um, there's the shoulder straps and they are adjustable. So this mesh area up here, maybe could, you could put a small cooler, um, small light ice chest maybe, that'll sit right there. And it has some tie down uh, tabs inside of here. There's two there and two on this side. Okay, good. So uh, it passes the kitchen floor test. So next we'll be taking it to the lake and trying it out. And uh, we're excited. Hopefully this is gonna work well. This is the pump we ended up getting. Um, we'll always have the Jeep with us. And uh, there are um, manual pumps, like a bicycle style pump that you pump up and down. There are foot pumps, of course, you can get. This one was only $14. It is 12 volts, so it is nice. This is the airflow, 650 liters a minute, so it fills it up really quick. If you're filling up two or three of these, um, this will be really nice. Also, we're gonna take this EcoFlow with us. Um, Eco, this is the EcoFlow River, a rechargeable generator just a battery, just a big battery system, and um, this will run this pump very easily. A little breezy, it's gonna get windier later. We're gonna try to get this on the water. This worked pretty well, just folding it up this way and bungee cording it. Rotate the valve closed here by turning the pump. Good deal. Bye.